Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ballin', ballin'. Tony hey. Cool goes cuckoo. It's no rules, bro. Ooh. I got two. I've been waiting too long for a Got It project, man. Run it, baby. Off white, bitch, with the off white, yeah. Off white, off white, off white, yeah. Sippin' on wall. No keys. Stick in the head, no fence. You go through the streets, no kids. Ends on the name, we ain't rockin' no men. Rock and water, Michael Phelps. Twist that fine team. No, I put two seats on my belt. It's only two seats. What's good, boys and girls? We're back with another reaction video today, and. Lil got it, man. He's dropped his new project. Um, the title of this one is a bit, um, you know, it took took me by surprise. It's called The Cheater. Um, bro, he's got 19 tracks on this one. This is loaded. You guys know how I feel about albums and the length of albums. I'd say about 14 is usually my max where I'm like, all right, that's enough. But from Lil Goddard, it's okay, you know, because Lil Goddard, he's, he was in my top five um, most listened to artists of the year, I think last year, not this year, last year, oh, no, not 2021, 2020, I think it was. Um, so, you know, that Hood Baby 2 album was probably one of my favorite albums of 2020. Um, just with the beats, the production on that one, the production on that one was insane. So. Um, we'll see how he's coming on this one. Before we get into it though, we got today's pay promoted snippet, man. Check it out. Wanna cry? Certain nights just thinking about you. I don't know what it is about you. Do you think about me like I think about you? No need to hide, I know your feelings true. Talk to me more, talk to me less. Nothing's changed. Uh, the promoted snippet of today um you know it's got a bit of a ysl sound so maybe if you guys like that one check it out in the um description down below i'll leave the dudes um the, the video to that one as well as um, his social media page let's get into this man the cheater first track that we have on this bro i don't know how he's i don't know if he can top um hood baby too but we'll see um yeah first track is gtf straight up he's on his ad lib thing yeah, it's one of his favorite <laughs> ad lib. But it's hilarious. Drake all sound like thunder, yeah, come and with me. Um, I gotta say, the reason why I really like Lil Got It so much is because of, um, I think the influence that Thug has had on his sons, bro. Keed, Got It, obviously Gunna has risen um, at the moment. I'd say Gunna and Thug are maybe brothers now, you know? But when it comes to the other ones, like Keed, Got It, um, who else is there? Obviously like Young KO, like the smaller artists as well. He, that influence th that Thug has had on them, like the flows and everything is just insane. You can hear it like their flows are one of the best. YSL flows are just one of the best in the game um, for sure. And yeah, Lil Got It's got it down pat, bro. Let's keep it going. GTF, 
Um, great intro to start it off. Um, just a very solid track by Hook oh Baby, bro, but I got it. I can't complain with that one. Um, I'd say an 8.4. Probably will go to the playlists eventually, but I'm going to say 8.4 at the moment. Great track. Track two we have is She Know It. Um, I've actually heard this one. I didn't react to it, but I've heard this one. So it's uh, one that dropped prior to the album. I'm playing She Know It. No, 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 no. She's going up there, boy. I think that's the, that's how it goes. But let's get into track three. Uh, now we're getting money featuring Lil PJ and Lil Keed. I've heard PJ and Got It are really close in terms of, you know, they made a couple, a few tracks together. Um, I think Options was one of them on the last album, as well as um, the one with the blue cover as well was had PJ on it. Anyways, let's get into this. Now we're getting money and Keed. Ooh. <laughs> What did he say? Something about having chrome heart goggles on and swimming in the beach. What? I got this shit on me, test 10. I'm clapping and yeah, I got them pins. I feel like the top of the fin. In my apple, she checked out the lid. They're such a beast duo, bro. Um, Brotherly Love, you guys know that track? Made it at the stroke, yeah, look too tough. Yeah, crush, I bring cut, bring crush. Dude, these two together, Keaton got it. The bro they're brothers as well. Like, they their chemistry is through the roof, bro. No homo, but you know what I mean? Like, Jesus. And Keed's dropping his Key Talk To Him album, I think, soon. He's been, bro, the promo for that has just been, I swear it's been going for like over a year. I don't know, it's been going for ages, so... I'm hoping that drops soon. I think it's key talk to him. I think that's the title of it, the, the newer one. Um, but yeah. This is how you dance to this shit, bro. All these diamonds feel like a chandelier. We too playing on you, cannot come near. Clutching while I'm looking through the car rear. Ain't I ever started. Come be fun. Party bands, now we get money. Now we get money. Yeah. Oh, that hook is gonna stay with me forever, bro. That's one of those ones that I can tell that'll grow on me, like, slowly. But I'll be playing that one a lot, bro. Uh, that one, I'd give probably a, a 9 out of 10. That's reached the 9s already. Um, And we got a lot more tracks to go, bro. That's insane. I don't know, just the bop of that. That one just had a mad bop to it. I was just... You, you know when you just flow with a track? Like, that just had me flowing. Um... But yeah, I can't really say too much. Now we're getting money, I'd say 9 out of 10. Track 4 we have, Night to Remember, featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Alright. Got it on a Rage of Beat? You see the fucking influence this new wave is having? Don't say that this new wave is not leading right now, bro. Like, you see the traction that Yeet is bringing into the into well not the traction but you see the influence that it's having got it would never hop on a fucking rager beat bro and trippy red as soon as he dropped that album the what's it fucking called the the big one bro the one with the uh, trip at night that's the one um as soon as he dropped that and like playboy cardi dropped a whole lot of red and yeet dropped his two alive everything switched bro you can't like what got it on a rate it was something different but it wasn't bad at all um it's just something i gotta get used to 
is yeah, and I've never heard Lil got it on a newer wave type of beat but he can he still does his thing bro the flows are always there with him um Ty Dolla Sign um yeah pretty average type of verse I'd say but it was still hard like I don't know I, I'd give that like a 8 out of 10 not a bad track at all um Anything under like a seven is usually like eh, I probably won't go back to or well, under seven point five. I'm like eh, I might check it out again, but eight that's that'll that'll be one to maybe go back to. Um, track five, I. That's all it's called. <laughs> Oh my god, I think this is the one that he was uh, playing on IG. I heard this one on IG and I'm like, dude, if this is going to be in the next project, I'm happy. Let's go. This this one's crazy. This one is absolutely insane. another one um another one in the playlist for sure the i think the the reason why i'm so um another another reason why i'm so sort of uh clinged to got its songs his tracks are because they're a perfect length man um you know i like people that are you know tuned into my reactions before i really like tracks that are between like i'd say two minutes to 230 I think anything above like 320, 330 is a bit much, but Gotta just chooses the perfect length for tracks, bro. Look, 2, 220, 222, 148, you know, 254. It's not too long and it's not too short. Just, it's perfect, bro. Um, I, I'd give that a 8.7, I'd say, 8.7. Nice track. Uh, track six, shut the door. The another reason, sorry, I've got to say as well, is 808s. The production on all Got It albums are just mind blowing. Just the 808, the thump that you hear in the car or with your headphones, AirPods, whatever you're listening with. It just hits different to other artists, man. And YSL, they're good at that. All YSL artists, as a matter of fact. But God, it's like the master of the 808s, bro. Just rapping on these 808s. Yeah, you don't know me. That's shut the door. Um, 8.5 out of 10. Probably just made the playlist because of those 808s and his flow. It's just very. He's in this. I feel like Got It just stays within the, within this 8.5 to 9 range usually, usually, unless he has one of those crazy tracks that I, you know, bump up to like a 9.5 and up. But yeah, he's he's very consistent with the with the flows, everything. That's a 8.5. Track seven, rich shit. I've heard as well in my own time. Nice track. Dropped prior to the album. And then track eight, How You Coming, featuring CEO Trail. Like, I've heard a few of this dude's uh, tracks, CEO Trail, but I'm not, like, a huge listener of his. I haven't, like, delved into his discography, but let's get into it. The cook makes the color me like butter, slip the wetter shit. I've been rocking fucking heads, you know I'm on the fucking beat. You've been on some sucker shit. They won't try to put a pair of arms, they were holding me. Turn on the heat, she get a hell for free. Atlanta, turn on the street, and put my trust in the weed. The hell can't charge up. The bros, they got charged up. This me get your bars up. We shoot shit, bro. She won't clown on 
say cheese, but I don't have to shave room. It's up on we pay soon. Hop out bait with case too. Let that money change you. Baby, I gotta escape you. Wanna get that pussy to back door, but I didn't make you. Tryna take his head off. I don't wanna graze you. Won't believe that. I'm getting cheap back. I hit the block 200 times just like a speed back. Holy shit. Get my little brother my bum. Do this rock shit out of state. Got that perk on scrape. Uh, Ruja at his weight. Get that baby crazy. Like what are these fucking flows? They don't stop. They don't like. They don't, they don't let the beat play out at all. It's just then 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 then. It's just. It's a lot, but it's good music for certain situations, bro. Like, if I'm at the gym, I'll listen to this, bro. If I'm like just chilling at home, like on my bed, like, you know, editing editing some thumbnails or something, I'm not gonna listen to this. It's like too too fucking, you know. It's, you gotta be on some. You know, coke or something to listen to this. Two for five and ten for one. Flip that car, press a button. Look at this shit on pop. I know that ain't that me. Look, got it done. The coupe match the color, they like butter, stuck through other shit. Being real, we get them bags and we wrap them up quick. I can do it right by slot them out and got the money quick. Ah, I'm gonna stop it there. How you coming featuring CEO Trail? Overwhelming type of quick um, tempo track. Um. As I said, for certain situations, I listen to that kind of track. Uh, but other than that, man, I give it like a 8.3. It may go to the playlist for me, but for now, it's just a solid Goddard track I'll come back to to reevaluate the rating, the decision. But 8.3 out of 10 on first reaction. Track 9 we got is Pot or P.O.T. Who produced this one, man? Sorry, I just need to check the credits. Um, dude, the production on this is on another level. Produced by West and K-Rich. Don't know who they are, but props to you guys. Wow. Need some more of those deep hood baby ad libs, bro. You know how he has like, oh. Hey, like, baby, you know, he has like this really low, deep ad libs. If he adds those in, I'm gonna be a happy dude today, bro. Yeah. He said, keep my bitch and Poochie. You know how he said uh, Gunner's Poochie Gown song as well? Bro, this Poochie, it's a new new term as well. There's a lot of new terms coming into hip-hop, man. Yeah, bro, that was one of them ones. Just the production got me hooked in immediately. Um, and the way that they used certain sounds after words like, I don't know, I think just like a car, a car zooming past and like certain sound effects um with the ad libs used i don't know they just worked really well the production was nice on that one got it doing his thing as usual i'd say like a 8.8 definitely a playlist um let's get into track 10 not enough featuring yak Gotti, man i haven't heard yak in so long man his album was nice though his album that he dropped with you know free the goat i think there's a track on there with shard of god or something shard of, whatever shard of god um there's uh, truly be missed was a nice one, but Yakari, I love Yakari. Let's go. Let's get into this, man. All right, we're in China with this one again. He's taking me to Beijing. Let's go. This dude, 
react a lot of screaming. He goes, yeah, or slat. You know, he just like, his ad-libs are, he's got a lot of screaming ad-libs, pretty funny. Um, but, you know, when it comes to artists like Yak, I don't listen to, um, I don't listen to lyrics at all. I'm just there to hear the sounds he sort of makes, if that, if that makes sense. Because his lyrics aren't that, um, intellectual if i gotta say you know it's not like some shit that's gonna blow me away it's just like funny but good flows man it's good flows from him so i'm happy with it all right man that's not enough featuring gat Gotti. um i don't know if that's a playlist i would say an 8.2 for now um it could could bump up to the 8.5 as maybe but on first reaction 8.2 uh track 11 we got is no basic featuring enchanting okay it's got enchanting the the female big scar bro <laughs> so i like to call her um let's go bro no basic featuring enchanting <laughs> little hook man i can't fight no basic no daisy no gazy on my time like that flow right there is nice i like that whole a little hook he's got That was no basic featuring enchanting um it was a cool track nothing special to me but it was you know same same from got it enchanting i knew what to expect with her whispers man um she's cool though i'd say like a eight out of ten maybe a bit lower like a yeah no i, I say it an eight um let's get into the next one bro six figures Featuring 30, Big 30 and Lil' Key. This is um, humongous. This is humongous, bro. This is gonna be... I'm expecting something big for this. Six figures. got its hooks just he's got something about his hooks so just they they just get you man they just get you in that zone he knows how to make catchy hooks um got it and 30 that one wasn't my favorite verse by 30 Keed did his thing I, I think Keed was really good on that one 30 was good but um i think he's better on faster sort of beats like more aggressive faster beats but then again six figures nice track i'd probably say like a 8.5 just made the playlist that one let's get into track 13 i don't deserve that cap <laughs> featuring b slime interesting i don't deserve that cap i don't deserve that cap i don't deserve that cap, cap. i don't want for free girl cost a fee you ain't never bust a gun why you free i don't read it up stick oh, oh, back and forth I'm sorry, that cap. I'm sorry, that cap. That cap. 
talking on this reaction as much just because i don't know i just like to bop with this with got it man you just like to get lost in his flow his flow you just get lost in because he doesn't stop that's the thing about him and that's why i really like him you just you're just there just no 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 i don't know that little high piano note in there makes the track a lot better i'm not gonna lie little elements like that you guys know can push up a track um i don't deserve that cap b slime b slime went crazy on that i love the back and forth by them too um great duo solid duo i didn't think um they could flow that well together wow um i would say 8.6 for that one yeah 8.6 he's staying in that range man it's good but this next track this next track man you know who we have on the feature helicopters featuring lil double o you know lil double o going up the skull bro let's get into this um double o is insane one of my favorites man out of memphis let's go on top of each other is just something i've heard no other artist do um like before he finishes his verse he'll like say his name a little double o like just as an ad lib like before he's finished his bar do you know what i mean like in the background you hear that man <laughs> That was Helicopters featuring Lil Double Low. I don't know if that's a playlist for me. I was expecting, you know, definitely a playlist with the Double O on that one, but it didn't shine to me as much as I thought it would. It didn't like appeal to me as much as I thought it would, but it was still a cool track. That Chubbers on Chubbers on Chubbers, you know, typical type of um, chorus. Uh, I would say like a eight, eight out of 10 for that one. Um, let's get into track 15, Control Me. on that control me track were just um too much for the camera to handle um and it didn't focus so i'll just show you guys some snippets of the last four tracks because the rest of the video is just blurred as fuck so yeah man apologies for that but what can you do track 16 second term <laughs> Uh, it's a wavy beat, man. Very wavy. Work. Say the same, and I'm on the way. Don't I can put you down, don't remind me. Don't remind me. 
Track, track 18, Thoughts About My Ex, okay. Oh, my ex, last track, of course, the cheater, man. Come on. He did his thing. Um, I'd say my favorite track was Now We Get In Money, probably. PJ and Keyed. The first track was nice too. I don't know. That's yeah, that's that man, the cheetah. Let me know what you guys thought of it down below. Um, like the video if you did enjoy it would be much appreciated man I'm the only one probably doing got it reactions out here so drop a like would much appreciated subscribe if you are new man and I'll catch you in the next one peace yeah. I'm wrecking it straight to the top ain't no capping it we living like this extravagant whole hackers nigga ain't ever rich friend and eat treat like they calories plates in my crib like a gallery dog in these hoes I eat pedigree my nigga this nigga then photographs